Hello everyone. Hope you all are doing good. Welcome to the video. In this video, we'll get to know the basic detail about virtual labs. Now, with the help of this particular video, we'll understand what exactly virtual lab is and how the users can take advantage of it. So, let us start. So, we all know that the physical distances and the lack of resources make us unable to perform experiments, especially when they involve the sophisticated instruments. Also, we believe that good teachers are always a scarce resource. But yes, web-based and video-based courses address this particular issue. So we have this virtual labs, a kind of platform where you will observe the same things that you observe in your physical lab. The only difference is that these labs are not physically present. It is an initiative of MHRD and comes under the umbrella project of NMEICT. Now the question arises, why do we require this kind of platform? So you all know that the number of engineering institutes in India are rising at a very fast pace. And if we compare about the practical knowledge of the students, that particular knowledge is somewhere lagging behind. So with the help of this particular platform, the practical knowledge of the students can be enhanced. Irrespective of the geographical location, Wherever you are located, you can easily use this platform and can enhance your knowledge. Also, as everyone can use it, everyone has a right to get a good quality of education and hence there's an equal opportunity for everyone. Talking about the features of virtual labs, the best part is that these labs are totally free to use. You can use these labs anytime, anywhere. You just require a system and a good internet connection. That's it. If you have a system and internet connection, you can simply use all these labs. Two main points we should look out for is that it is developed in self-learning mode. So from the user point of view, this kind of platform has been designed in such a beautiful way that the user can learn and understand on their own. Also, they can try out certain innovative experimentations. Certain things which cannot be tried in the physical labs can be done over here. So till now, more than 100 virtual labs have been developed and each lab has minimum five to six experiments. So for the user point of view, you have more than 500 experiments to choose from. Talking about the motivational factor, what motivates the user to take up this particular platform? The very first one is the physical distances. The physical distance between the user and the equipment. Now this particular distance can be overcome with the help of this virtual labs as while sitting at your home, home only, you can simply virtually perform the experiments. Sharing of costly equipments. Now, once the user start performing experiments over here on this platform, each and every individual will get a dedicated equipment. So whatever the values they want to enter, they can do it. That particular equipment would be dedicated for them only. Then we have the proliferation of quality of labs. So we are trying to increase the quality of the labs in a very short span of time and we are regularly increasing the quality of our labs and also you'll find that on a single topic you'll find the various labs developed by various different institutes which give you a diversified content so these are the motivational factors now what you are seeing right now is the basic idea there is no rocket science it is very easy to understand we have this virtual labs and with the help of internet you can simply access it. You are the remote users. Now, when the founding stones of this particular lab, this particular platform were being laid, now there were certain objectives very clear. The very first one was wherever you are, you should be able to remotely access the labs which deals with the disciplines of science and engineering. Also, this particular platform cater the students. So by cater, we means that it gives them each and everything so that they could learn and understand a particular concept. Best part is that this particular platform enables the students to learn at their own pace. So what happens in the physical lab, we have a particular time window. And in that particular time window, there are two types of students that are mostly slow learner and fast learner. The fast learners quickly learn the particular things, take the observations and are done with the experiment. But the slow learners, they require more amount of time to learn. Now, due to the time constraint, sometimes they're unable to understand the particular experiment. So what happens? Gradually, they lose their interest in the physical labs. 
but over here on virtual labs you have ample amount of time learn at your own pace let the concepts be clear now once your concepts are clear then there would be certain questions arising in your mind and those questions can be asked by your faculty members and you can simply enhance your knowledge lastly we have a complete learning management system over here we do not only have the theoretical things we have the video lectures simulations animations everything is present on this particular platform so quickly differentiating physical labs from the virtual labs on the various factors the very first factor is cost yes we believe that if we set up a physical lab a huge monetary sum is required but for virtual labs it is almost nil again you just require system and internet connection availability now physical labs as we all know that they are not available to us every time and due to this pandemic situation we cannot have an access to the physical labs but yes virtual labs have been designed in such a way that anytime anywhere you can simply use it 24 into 7 into 365 days anytime anywhere now let us talk about the experimentation part now in the physical labs a user is not allowed to go up to the box and try something new and it's also it has various reasons behind it because if we talk about the institutes they are concerned for the user safety and also for the safety of the equipment but as virtual labs in virtual labs everything has been developed virtually so what is happening it gives you a safer option you want to see something you want to go out of the box try something new you can do it over here neither the equipment would get gam damage nor you would be getting any harm lastly we have user experience we firmly believe that nothing can replace physical labs physical lab has the the best user experience in real time and virtual lab is a complimentary add on let me make this clear with, with the help of an example now the physical labs for example if you are performing certain chemical experiments in physical lab so once you mix the two chemicals there would be a gas emitting out and you can simply smell that gas but in virtual labs you'll mix those two chemicals you'll see the output in terms of say color change or anything but you cannot smell that particular gas so that is why we say that physical labs has the best user experience and virtual lab is second best it is a complementary add on to it so we have this three type of virtual labs on our platform the very first one is the modeling and simulation base now in this what we have done we have just created a replica of the real life process and put it over here for example we observe waveform on a cro or we observe a color change in the acid base titration so labs like this we call as modeling and simulation base then we have this measurement based labs now this measurement based labs are those labs consist those experiments in which the user require exact numerical answer for example you are performing kcl kvl you want to know the exact voltage so labs like this we call as machine based labs and lastly we have this remote trigger lab now these were the labs these labs are right now is not into the existence so earlier what used to happen you can simply see a particular lab which is you can simply trigger a particular lab which is located far away from you okay and while sitting at your own place in the real time you can trigger that particular setup but yes modeling based labs and measurement based labs are mostly used nowadays and you will find most of the labs on virtual labs platform that are that comes under the category of modeling based labs and measurement based labs also these labs are scalable means many users simultaneously can use this particular labs now let us talk about the intended users who all can get advantage out of it the college students the high school students also the different engineering institutes across india everyone can use this for their students and even the faculty members can also use it and take advantage out of it so these are the list of the participating institutes now most of these institutes have only developed this particular labs you can see there are names like iits and then you have the other esteemed universities and institute as well so these are the consortium members so in which all areas the virtual labs have been developed so these are the areas starting from the very basic we have this physical sciences chemical sciences going on further you have electronics 
electrical engineering, computer science and engineering, civil engineering and so on. Now the main part, how to access this particular virtual experiments. For that, there's a one-stop solution. So you simply need to go reach to the website. That is www.vlab.co.in. As soon as you type this URL in your web browser, there you go. You would be having this particular platform right in front of you on your computer screen. And from there, virtually you can explore the experiments. So quickly summing up, what do we have understood till now? On-demand labs, whenever you feel like, labs are there for you. Second point, everything is present, each and every content is present at a single click. Self-evaluation, as it is developed in self-learning mode, so in each and every labs, you would be having certain quiz part. Now, as a user, you can simply use this, answer these questions, and you can evaluate yourself how much you have obtained, how much knowledge you have obtained after performing it animations and videos yes we believe that actions speak louder than words so there are certain animations as well so you can easily visualize the concepts best part freedom to make mistakes you can commit any mistake over here on this virtual labs platform but yes make sure you learn out from these mistakes so if you sum up all these things so these are kind of ingredients and we have a particular dish which is served to our nation that we call as virtual labs so this is the impact of the project. So there are more than 800 nodal centers. Then you can see these certain stats. The national impact is there right in front of you. Even the AICT have added virtual labs in the model curriculum. So if you really want to get something out of it, so what I'll request that you go to all this particular platform and perform a few experiments on your own. Then only you'll be able to realize that how good it has been developed. It seems like if you want to learn something out of, out of a book, you read it, you go th thorough through it, okay? And you do, do not just flip it out. So for effectiveness, make sure you go to this particular platform. So that was all. So in this video, we get to know the basic idea and the background about virtual labs. Thank you for listening to me and please do not forget to like to this particular video and subscribe to our channel. Thank you, thanks a lot.